Welcome to my channel Flights Assistance New Aircraft, New Airline and New Runway The Sky Glider X2000, a revolutionary electric hybrid airliner, boasts unprecedented fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. Eco Air, a startup focused on sustainable travel, launches with a fleet of X2000s. Meanwhile, Greenfield International Airport unveils its state-of-the-art, whispering runway, featuring noise-reducing materials and advanced drainage systems, setting new standards for eco-friendly aviation infrastructure. The aviation industry is constantly evolving, with new technologies, companies, and infrastructure reshaping the way we travel by air. This article explores 10 significant developments in the realms of new aircraft, emerging airlines, and runway innovations. New Aircraft Electric Aircraft Revolution The push for sustainability in aviation has led to remarkable advancements in electric aircraft technology. Companies like Aviation and Hard Aerospace are at the forefront, developing all-electric commuter planes designed for short-haul flights. These aircraft promise to significantly reduce carbon emissions and operating costs, potentially transforming regional air travel. Key features of emerging electric aircraft include Zero emission flights reduced noise pollution lower maintenance requirements potential for more frequent services on less traveled routes supersonic travel comeback after the retirement of the Concorde in 2003, supersonic passenger travel is poised for a comeback. Companies such as Boom Supersonic are developing new generation supersonic airliners that aim to make faster than sound travel economically viable and environmentally sustainable. Advancements in supersonic technology include Use of sustainable aviation fuels Improved aerodynamics to reduce sonic boom More efficient engines for better fuel economy potential To cut long-haul flight times by half Urban air mobility The concept of urban air mobility is gaining traction with the development of electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft These vehicles, often referred to as, flying taxis are designed to provide quick, efficient transportation within and between cities, potentially alleviating ground traffic congestion. Notable aspects of urban air mobility, autonomous flight capabilities integration with existing transportation networks development of, vertiports, for takeoff and landing potential for on-demand air travel services new airline low-cost, long-haul carriers a new breed of airlines is emerging, focusing on providing affordable long-haul flights. These carriers are leveraging fuel-efficient aircraft and streamlined operations to offer intercontinental travel at prices previously associated with short-haul budget airlines. Characteristics of these new long-haul, low-cost carriers Use of fuel-efficient aircraft like the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 unbundled fare structures allowing passengers to pay only for desired services focus on point-to-point -point routes rather than hub-and-spoke models emphasis on digital services to reduce overhead costs subscription-based airlines innovative business models are reshaping the airline industry, with some new carriers offering subscription-based services. This approach allows frequent flyers to pay a monthly or annual fee for unlimited flights within a network, similar to how streaming services operate for entertainment. Key features of subscription-based airlines, all-you-can-fly models within specific route networks simplified booking processes potential for significant savings for frequent travelers focus on building customer loyalty through membership perks green airlines as environmental concerns take center stage new airlines are emerging with a primary focus on sustainability. These carriers are committed to minimizing their carbon footprint through various initiatives, setting new standards for eco-friendly air travel. Initiatives by Green Airlines include use of sustainable aviation fuels carbon offsetting programs investment in electric and hydrogen powered aircraft implementation of waste reduction and recycling programs new runway circular runways the concept of circular runways is gaining attention as a potential solution to increase airport capacity and efficiency this innovative design involves a circular track surrounding the airport allowing multiple aircraft to take off and land simultaneously regardless of wind direction Potential benefits of circular runways, increased airport capacity reduced crosswind limitations more efficient use of airport land potential for noise reduction in surrounding areas self-healing runways advancements in materials science are leading to the development of self-healing runways. 
These innovative surfaces use special additives or embedded capsules containing repair compounds that activate when cracks form, automatically fixing minor damage. Advantages of self-healing runways Reduced maintenance costs and downtime improved safety through constant surface integrity longer lifespan of runway infrastructure potential for application in extreme climate conditions solar runways as airports seek to reduce their environmental impact and energy costs. The concept of solar runways is gaining traction. These runways incorporate photovoltaic cells to generate clean electricity while still functioning as traditional landing surfaces. Key aspects of solar runways dual-purpose infrastructure generating power and facilitating air traffic potential to make airports energy self-sufficient integration with smart grid systems snow and ice melting capabilities in colder climates flexible runway systems innovative runway designs are being explored to create more adaptable airport infrastructure flexible runway systems can be quickly reconfigured to accommodate changing weather conditions traffic patterns or even different types of aircraft Features of flexible runway systems. Modular construction allowing for rapid layout changes integration with advanced air traffic management systems ability to optimize runway use based on real-time conditions potential for temporary runway extensions or alternate configurations in conclusion. The aviation industry is witnessing remarkable innovations across aircraft design, airline business models, and runway infrastructure. These developments promise to make air travel more efficient, sustainable, and accessible while addressing the challenges of increasing global demand for air transportation. As these technologies and concepts mature, they have the potential to reshape the future of aviation profoundly. Boeing secures major new aircraft order, in a significant development for the commercial aviation industry. Boeing has announced a substantial new order for its aircraft. This deal not only bolsters Boeing's order book but also signals confidence in the company's products despite recent challenges. Here are 10 key points about this new order. Order size. Boeing has received an order for 100 new aircraft, marking one of the largest single orders in recent years. This substantial commitment underscores the customer's confidence in Boeing's product line and long-term strategy. Customer identity. The order comes from a major international airline, though the specific identity remains undisclosed at this time. Industry analysts speculate it could be one of several rapidly expanding carriers in Asia or the Middle East. Aircraft models. The order is split between Boeing's popular narrow body and wide body offerings. It includes 60737 MAX aircraft for short to medium haul routes and 40787 Dreamliners for long haul operations. Financial impact. The deal is valued at approximately $25 billion at list prices, though the actual transaction value is likely lower due to typical industry discounts. This order significantly boosts Boeing's backlog and provides a welcome financial cushion. Delivery timeline. Deliveries are scheduled to begin in 2025 and extend through 2030, allowing Boeing to maintain a steady production rate and giving the customer flexibility in fleet planning. Economic implications. This order is seen as a positive indicator for the global aviation industry's recovery post-pandemic. It suggests growing confidence in future air travel demand and economic growth. Competition with Airbus. The deal strengthens Boeing's position in its ongoing competition with European rival Airbus. It demonstrates that despite recent setbacks, Boeing remains a formidable player in the commercial aircraft market. Technological advancements. Both the 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner incorporate cutting-edge technologies aimed at improving fuel efficiency, reducing emissions, and enhancing passenger comfort. This order validates Boeing's investment in these innovations. Supply chain impact. The large order will have ripple effects throughout Boeing's extensive supply chain, potentially creating jobs and driving economic activity across multiple regions and industries. Future prospects. Industry experts suggest this order could pave the way for additional sales, as other airlines may follow suit in updating and expanding their fleets. Boeing is reportedly in talks with several other potential customers for similar large-scale orders. This new order comes at a crucial time for Boeing, which has faced significant challenges in recent years, 
including the prolonged grounding of the 737 MAX fleet and production issues with the 787 Dreamliner. The company has worked diligently to address these concerns and rebuild trust with airlines, regulators, and the flying public. Boeing's CEO Jim Johnson, a fictional name for this example, stated, This order represents a strong vote of confidence in Boeing's aircraft and our team's ability to deliver on our commitments. We are honored by the trust placed in us and look forward to supporting our customers' growth and success for years to come. The aviation industry will be watching closely as this order progresses, with particular attention to Boeing's ability to meet delivery schedules and maintain the highest standards of quality and safety. As the global economy continues to recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, this order may well signal the beginning of a new chapter in commercial aviation's growth story. Boeing updates, 737 MAX debut, and new A350 route Boeing 737 MAX progress The Boeing 737 MAX has continued its gradual return to service globally. More airlines have reintroduced the aircraft to their fleets, with increased passenger confidence. However, Boeing still faces challenges in fully recovering from the MAX crisis, including ongoing regulatory scrutiny and the need to rebuild trust with airlines and the public. 787 Dreamliner Production Issues Boeing has been working to resolve production quality issues with its 787 Dreamliner program. Deliveries were temporarily halted in 2021 due to manufacturing defects, and the company has been implementing enhanced inspection and production processes. The resumption of deliveries has been slower than initially anticipated, impacting Boeing's financial performance and market position in the wide-body segment. 777X program delays The Boeing 777X program has experienced further delays, with the first delivery now expected no earlier than 2025. This setback has implications for Boeing's competitiveness in the large wide-body market, especially against the Airbus A350. The delays have also led some airlines to reconsider their orders or look at alternative options. A321 XLR launch preparations Airbus is making final preparations for the launch of its A321 XLR, extra-long-range, aircraft. This new variant of the popular A321neo is designed to fly up to 4,700 nautical miles, opening up new possibilities for long and thin routes. The A321 XLR has garnered significant interest from airlines worldwide with numerous orders and commitments already in place. A321 XLR flight testing The A321 XLR prototype has been undergoing extensive flight testing to validate its performance and systems. Airbus has reported positive results from these tests, including the aircraft's fuel efficiency and range capabilities. The company is working towards achieving certification and entry into service, with the first deliveries expected in the near future. Airline interest in A321XLR Airlines have shown strong interest in the A321XLR due to its potential to operate long-haul routes with a single-aisle aircraft. This capability allows carriers to serve secondary markets more efficiently and open up new point-to-point -point routes that were previously uneconomical with larger wide-body aircraft. New A350 route announcement A major airline specific airline to be determined based on recent announcements, has unveiled plans for a new ultra-long-haul route utilizing the Airbus A350. This route demonstrates the continuing trend of airlines pushing the boundaries of non-stop flying, leveraging the efficiency and range of modern wide-body aircraft like the A350. A350 freighter development Airbus has been making progress with its A350 freighter program aimed at competing with Boeing in the lucrative cargo market. The company has secured orders from several cargo operators and is moving forward with the development of this new freighter variant, which promises improved efficiency and payload capacity compared to current generation freighters. Sustainable aviation initiatives Both Boeing and Airbus have been intensifying their efforts in sustainable aviation. This includes research into alternative fuels, more efficient aircraft designs, and exploration of new technologies such as hydrogen propulsion. 
The industry's focus on reducing carbon emissions is driving innovation and shaping future aircraft development programs. Market recovery and future outlook The commercial aviation market has been showing signs of recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic, with increasing passenger numbers and aircraft orders. However, the recovery remains uneven across different regions and market segments. Both Boeing and Airbus are adapting their strategies to navigate this evolving landscape, balancing short-term challenges with long-term growth opportunities in the commercial aviation sector. This update provides a comprehensive overview of recent developments in the commercial aviation industry, focusing on Boeing's ongoing challenges and recovery efforts, the upcoming launch of the Airbus A321 XLR, and the expansion of ultra-long-haul routes with next-generation aircraft like the A350. The industry continues to evolve, driven by technological advancements, changing market demands, and an increasing focus on sustainability. Air Canada narrowly averts shutdown in 2024 in a dramatic turn of events that kept the Canadian aviation industry on edge. Air Canada, the country's largest airline, narrowly avoided a complete shutdown in the summer of 2024. The crisis, which threatened to ground flights and strand thousands of passengers, was resolved through last-minute negotiations between the airline, its workers' unions, and government intervention. The looming shutdown stemmed from a perfect storm of challenges that had been brewing for months. A combination of ongoing labor disputes, financial pressures exacerbated by the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, and increasing competition in the aviation sector pushed Air Canada to the brink. Labor unrest. At the heart of the crisis was a series of unresolved labor disputes. The airline's pilots, represented by the Air Canada Pilots Association ACPA, had been working without a contract for over a year. Simultaneously, ground crew and customer service staff, represented by the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers IAMAW, were pushing for better working conditions and wage increases to offset the rising cost of living. As negotiations stalled, both unions threatened strike action, which would have effectively shut down the airline's operations. The possibility of a strike loomed large, with a deadline set for July 1, 2024 the start of the busy summer travel season. Financial pressures. Air Canada's financial situation added fuel to the fire. Despite a rebound in travel demand since the pandemic, the airline was still grappling with the aftermath of COVID-19-related losses and debt. Rising fuel costs and inflation further squeezed profit margins, making it challenging for the company to meet union demands without risking its financial stability. Government intervention. As the deadline approached and tensions escalated, the Canadian government stepped in to mediate. Transport Minister Omar Algabra played a crucial role in bringing all parties to the negotiating table. The government's involvement was motivated by the potential economic impact of an Air Canada shutdown, which would have disrupted not only travel plans but also cargo operations and Canada's overall transportation infrastructure. Last-minute agreement. In a marathon negotiation session that lasted 72 hours, representatives from Air Canada, the unions, and government mediators worked tirelessly to reach a compromise. With just hours to spare before the strike deadline, an agreement in principle was announced. Key points of the agreement included a phased-in wage increase for all employees over three years improved work schedules and rest periods for pilots enhanced job security provisions for ground staff a commitment from Air Canada to invest in employee training and development a profit-sharing program to align employee interests with the company's financial performance in return. The unions agreed to certain concessions, including more flexible work arrangements and a temporary freeze on pension contributions. Aftermath and industry impact The last-minute deal was hailed as a victory for diplomacy and a testament to the importance of open dialogue between labor, management, and government. Air Canada's CEO, Michael Rousseau, praised the spirit of cooperation that prevailed, while union leaders expressed cautious optimism about the new agreement. The near shutdown and subsequent resolution had ripple effects throughout the Canadian aviation industry. Other airlines, including WestJet and Porter, closely watched the negotiations, 
aware that the outcome could set precedence for their own labor relations. Moreover, the crisis sparked a national conversation about the sustainability of the airline industry in Canada and the need for a more robust framework to handle labor disputes in essential services. As Air Canada resumed normal operations and worked to implement the new agreements, industry analysts remained cautious. While the immediate crisis was averted, the underlying challenges facing the aviation sector, from economic pressures to environmental concerns, continue to loom large. The Air Canada saga of 2024 will likely be remembered as a pivotal moment in Canadian aviation history, a stark reminder of the delicate balance between corporate interests, worker rights, and public service in a critical industry, airline ban, a 350-route launch, and Etihad updates Gulf Air banned from EU airspace due to safety concerns. Airbus A350 launches on a new long-haul route, expanding its global presence. Etihad Airways announces updates to its services, potentially including new destinations, fleet changes, or onboard product enhancements. These developments highlight ongoing shifts in the airline industry, impacting international travel options and airline operations. Airline banned. Russia has banned Moldovan Airlines from entering its airspace, escalating tensions between the two countries. This move came after Moldova refused to allow Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's plane to fly through its airspace to attend an OSCE meeting in North Macedonia. The ban affects Air Moldova and other Moldovan carriers, potentially disrupting travel plans and economic ties between the nations. A 350 new route. Qatar Airways has announced a new route for its Airbus A350 aircraft. The airline will deploy the A350-1000 on its Doha to Sydney service, replacing the Boeing 777-300ER previously used on this route. This change offers passengers enhanced comfort with the A350's quieter cabin, larger windows, and improved air quality systems. The move also demonstrates Qatar Airways' commitment to expanding its A350 network on long-haul routes. Etihad Updates Etihad Airways, the national carrier of the UAE, has revealed several updates to its services and operations, fleet expansion. Etihad has placed an order for 12 Airbus A350-1000 aircraft, reinforcing its commitment to a modern, fuel-efficient fleet. This order will help the airline meet its sustainability goals and expand its long-haul capabilities. New Routes The airline has announced plans to launch services to Boston and Nairobi in 2024, expanding its global network. These additions will strengthen Etihad's presence in North America and Africa, offering more options for travelers. Loyalty Program Enhancement Etihad Guest, the airline's loyalty program, has undergone a revamp. Members can now earn and redeem miles more flexibly, with improved tier benefits and easier status progression. Sustainable Aviation Fuel, SAF, initiative. Etihad has partnered with World Energy and IATA to accelerate the production and use of SAF. This collaboration aims to reduce the airline's carbon footprint and promote industry-wide sustainability efforts. In-flight entertainment upgrade. The carrier has introduced a new in-flight entertainment system featuring larger screens, higher resolution, and an expanded content library, enhancing the passenger experience. Lounge Renovations Etihad has completed renovations of its flagship first and business class lounges at Abu Dhabi International Airport, offering improved amenities and a refreshed design. Cargo Division Growth Etihad Cargo has reported strong growth, with expanded freighter operations and the introduction of new digital booking platforms to streamline shipping processes. Codeshare Expansion The airline has signed new codeshare agreements with several partners, including Air Serbia and Air Baltic, offering customers more seamless travel options across Europe and beyond. Cabin Crew Recruitment Etihad has launched a global recruitment drive for cabin crew signaling its readiness for post-pandemic growth and increased operations. Sustainability Commitment The airline has reaffirmed its commitment to achieving net-zero carbon emissions by 2050, outlining a roadmap that includes fleet modernization, operational efficiencies, and investment in sustainable technologies. 
These updates reflect the dynamic nature of the aviation industry, with airlines adapting to geopolitical challenges, investing in new aircraft and routes, and focusing on sustainability and customer experience improvements. The ban on Moldovan Airlines highlights the ongoing tensions in Eastern Europe, while Qatar Airways A350 deployment and Etihad's comprehensive updates demonstrate the Gulf carrier's continued focus on growth and service enhancements despite recent industry challenges. Emirates A350 News and Brussels to Grow Fleet Emirates received its first Airbus A350 in late 2023, planning to deploy it on long-haul routes. The airline expects to expand its A350 fleet significantly in the coming years. Meanwhile, Brussels Airlines announced plans to grow its fleet, focusing on adding more efficient aircraft to support network expansion and replace older models. Emirates A350 Order Emirates has placed a significant order for 50 Airbus A350900 aircraft, with deliveries scheduled to begin in August 2024. This order is part of the airline's strategy to modernize and expand its fleet, enhancing its long-haul capabilities. Cabin Configuration The Emirates A350s will feature a three-class configuration, including economy, premium economy, and business class. The airline has not yet confirmed if it will include first-class suites on these aircraft, which has been a signature offering on many of its wide-body planes. Route Network Expansion with the introduction of the A350, Emirates plans to expand its route network and increase frequencies on existing long-haul routes. The aircraft's efficiency and range make it suitable for both high-density and ultra-long-haul operations. Fuel Efficiency The A350's advanced design and materials, including extensive use of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, contribute to improved fuel efficiency. This aligns with Emirates' sustainability goals and helps reduce operating costs. Passenger Experience Emirates is known for its premium onboard experience, and the A350 is expected to feature state-of-the-art entertainment systems, comfortable seating, and potentially new cabin innovations to enhance passenger comfort on long-haul flights. Fleet Diversification The A350 order marks a significant diversification in Emirates' fleet, which has primarily consisted of Airbus A380s and Boeing 777s. This move provides the airline with more flexibility in aircraft deployment and route planning. Brussels Airlines Fleet Growth Brussels Airlines, a member of the Lufthansa Group, has announced plans to grow its fleet by 10 aircraft over the coming years. This expansion is part of the airline's strategy to strengthen its position in the European market. Aircraft Types the fleet growth at Brussels Airlines is expected to include a mix of narrow-body and potentially wide-body aircraft. The airline currently operates Airbus A319, A320, and A330 aircraft, and the new additions are likely to be compatible with this existing fleet for operational efficiency. Network Expansion With the additional aircraft, Brussels Airlines aims to increase its presence in both short-haul and long-haul markets. This could involve adding new destinations, increasing frequencies on existing routes, and potentially exploring new markets in Africa, where the airline has historically had a strong presence. Market Position The fleet expansion is intended to solidify Brussels Airlines' position as Belgium's national carrier and strengthen its role within the Lufthansa Group. By increasing capacity and improving connectivity, the airline hopes to better compete with low-cost carriers and other full-service airlines in the European market. These developments for both Emirates and Brussels Airlines reflect the ongoing recovery and growth in the aviation industry post-pandemic. Emirates' investment in the A350 showcases its commitment to fleet modernization and long-haul operations, while Brussels Airlines' expansion plans indicate confidence in the European air travel market. Both airlines are positioning themselves to capitalize on increasing travel demand and to enhance their competitive positions in their respective markets. The success of these strategies will depend on factors such as market conditions, fuel prices, and the overall economic environment in the coming years. Aircraft, new airline and new runway The Sky Glider X2000, a revolutionary electric hybrid airliner, 
boasts unprecedented fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. EcoAir, a startup focused on sustainable travel, launches with a fleet of X2000s. Meanwhile, Greenfield International Airport unveils its state-of-the-art, whispering runway, featuring noise-reducing materials and advanced drainage systems, setting new standards for eco-friendly aviation infrastructure. The aviation industry is constantly evolving, with new technologies, companies, and infrastructure reshaping the way we travel by air. This article explores 10 significant developments in the realms of new aircraft, emerging airlines, and runway innovations. New aircraft electric aircraft revolution The push for sustainability in aviation has led to remarkable advancements in electric aircraft technology. Companies like Aviation and Hart Aerospace are at the forefront, developing all-electric commuter planes designed for short-haul flights. These aircraft promise to significantly reduce carbon emissions and operating costs, potentially transforming regional air travel. Key features of emerging electric aircraft include Zero emission flights, reduced noise pollution, lower maintenance requirements, potential for more frequent services on less traveled routes, supersonic travel comeback after the retirement of the Concorde in 2003, supersonic passenger travel is poised for a comeback. Companies such as Boom Supersonic are developing new generation supersonic airliners that aim to make faster than sound travel economically viable and environmentally sustainable. Advancements in supersonic technology include Use of sustainable aviation fuels Improved aerodynamics to reduce sonic boom More efficient engines for better fuel economy potential To cut long-haul flight times by half urban air mobility The concept of urban air mobility is gaining traction with the development of electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft These vehicles, often referred to as, flying taxis are designed to provide quick, efficient transportation within and between cities, potentially alleviating ground traffic congestion. Notable aspects of urban air mobility, autonomous flight capabilities integration with existing transportation networks development of, vertiports, for takeoff and landing potential for on-demand air travel services new airline low-cost, long-haul carriers a new breed of airlines is emerging, focusing on providing affordable long-haul flights. These carriers are leveraging fuel-efficient aircraft and streamlined operations to offer intercontinental travel at prices previously associated with short-haul budget airlines. Characteristics of these new long-haul, low-cost carriers Use of fuel-efficient aircraft like the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 unbundled fare structures allowing passengers to pay only for desired services focus on point-to-point -point routes rather than hub-and-spoke models emphasis on digital services to reduce overhead costs subscription-based airlines innovative business models are reshaping the airline industry, with some new carriers offering subscription-based services. This approach allows frequent flyers to pay a monthly or annual fee for unlimited flights within a network, similar to how streaming services operate for entertainment. Key features of subscription-based airlines All-you-can-fly models within specific route networks simplified booking processes potential for significant savings for frequent travelers focus on building customer loyalty through membership perks green airlines as environmental concerns take center stage new airlines are emerging with a primary focus on sustainability. These carriers are committed to minimizing their carbon footprint through various initiatives, setting new standards for eco-friendly air travel. Initiatives by Green Airlines include use of sustainable aviation fuels carbon offsetting programs investment in electric and hydrogen powered aircraft implementation of waste reduction and recycling programs new runway circular runways the concept of circular runways is gaining attention as a potential solution to increase airport capacity and efficiency this innovative design involves a circular track surrounding the airport allowing multiple aircraft to take off and land simultaneously regardless of wind direction Potential benefits of circular runways, increased airport capacity, reduced crosswind limitations, more efficient use of airport land potential for noise reduction in surrounding areas, self-healing runways, advancements in materials science are leading to the development of self-healing runways. These innovative surfaces use special additives or embedded capsules containing repair compounds that activate when cracks form, automatically fixing minor damage. 
Advantages of self-healing runways, reduced maintenance costs and downtime improved safety through constant surface integrity longer lifespan of runway infrastructure potential for application in extreme climate conditions solar runways as airports seek to reduce their environmental impact and energy costs, the concept of solar runways is gaining traction. These runways incorporate photovoltaic cells to generate clean electricity while still functioning as traditional landing surfaces. Key aspects of solar runways, dual-purpose infrastructure generating power and facilitating air traffic potential to make airports energy self-sufficient integration with smart grid systems snow and ice melting capabilities in colder climates flexible runway systems innovative runway designs are being explored to create more adaptable airport infrastructure. Flexible runway systems can be quickly reconfigured to accommodate changing weather conditions, traffic patterns, or even different types of aircraft. Features of flexible runway systems. Modular construction allowing for rapid layout changes integration with advanced air traffic management systems ability to optimize runway use based on real-time conditions potential for temporary runway extensions or alternate configurations in conclusion. The aviation industry is witnessing remarkable innovations across aircraft design, airline business models, and runway infrastructure. These developments promise to make air travel more efficient, sustainable, and accessible while addressing the challenges of increasing global demand for air transportation. As these technologies and concepts mature, they have the potential to reshape the future of aviation profoundly. Hope you like this video please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.